My name is Anna Saren. I'm with the CSE. Today I'm here with Sam Chandola from V2 Games. Thank you for joining us, Sam. Oh, my pleasure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about V2 Games? For sure. V2 Games is actually uh, a gaming startup, a venture fund. Uh, what we do is we invest uh, in great gaming content and great gaming studios uh, for preferred equity that gives us a dividend as well. Wonderful. Can you talk a little bit about the e-gaming market size? Absolutely. It is phenomenally large and growing at an astounding pace. Uh, Gaming right now is a $105, $106 billion industry projected to grow to about $150 billion by 2020. To put that into context, that's higher than Hollywood and the music industry combined together right now. Um, people are diehard fans. Um, they're, they're very, very loyal uh, in terms of when they come back to you. And if you are following a sport or an eSport or a game, um, you're seeing numbers that are larger than traditional sports. And to give you some context, an example, League of Legends, which is a very, very popular esport right now, their championship finals last year had 5 million more viewers than the NBA finals. And the NBA has been around for decades, whereas League of Legends is around for maybe eight years right now, right? Wow. Yeah, so the growth potential is phenomenal. And that's, that's, that's only one example. Vancouver hosted the Dota 2 International Championship uh, two weeks ago, a uh, prize pool of $25 million. That is more than what the first place team in the NBA took home last year as well. Uh, 23 of the $25 million actually came from fans who were buying um, uh, in-app items and in-app uh, uh, purchases to help fund the pool for the top professional players. So the market size is phenomenal, it's growing, it's projected to go to about $150 billion, like I said, over the next couple of years. Um, and it is just one of those undiscovered gems that you know is growing at a phenomenal pace but maybe falls outside what traditional investors are used to investing in and looking at. Is there anything coming up in, in uh, the next few months that might be interesting to potential investors? There is so much but unfortunately nothing I can talk about <laughs> without uh, an NDA in place but um, in a nutshell and without giving up too much information it's sufficient to say we've probably in the process of licensing some of the world's largest and most recognizable intellectual properties uh, to make top tier mobile free to play games uh, with those projects uh, slated for launch in summer of next year and summer of 2020 as well and we do believe these games have the potential to become top grossing titles uh, with a high six or seven stream a six or seven figure revenue on a, on a monthly basis that's wonderful yeah. um, and so you're in the process of listing with the CSC aren't you uh, not right now uh, currently we are actually a subsidiary of Victory Square Technologies uh, which is a CSC listed company um, we are still growing V2 games but we will likely be looking at listing the company out separately soon well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Have a good day.